that's what you are. Unforgettable. Oh, 
of stories, everyone's memories, everyone's ideas or favorite things about the man whose music we're celebrating tonight. He was born Nathaniel Adams Coles, and he was the son of a Chicago preacher man, started playing piano with bands around the age of 16, and in the 1930s and 40s, he played with bands around Chicago and Los Angeles. He was one of the first piano trios to add guitar to his band. And this made for a very popular 
sort of thing that happened all around the country with trios. They all started adding guitar to piano trios, starting a trend in this genre. Now, we can't possibly do everyone's favorite Nat King Cole tune this evening. There are far too many. And choosing what tunes to edit out for you here is probably one of the most daunting things I've ever tried to do because there's so many great tunes by so many incredible songwriters and composers. It could actually be called a Nat King Cole American, Great American Songbook because he recorded so much. But what we can do is try to sort of channel our, our inner Nat and bring to you the music, some of the music that he made popular with a little twist, a little different feel. And we'll do that by using a guitar trio that is made up of, on drums, Mr. Matt Kane. <laughs> on bass, Mr. Steve Laspina. and our musical director, and on guitar, Mr. Tony Romano. Now, I was first introduced to Nat King Cole's music when I was 18 years old in Nashville, Tennessee, for a show that spanned 50 years of American music. And I did it for many, many seasons. The director said, everyone who does anybody's song within this whole scope of the show needed to sound as much like that person as they could. So he gave me recordings to listen to and I performed the tune and we had large crowds every day, five shows a day. And what I always heard afterwards was, man, you do a great Johnny Mathis. <laughs> <laughs> but um, this was my first time hearing about the song that somehow landed in Nat's dressing room one night, delivered by a man named Eden Abes. Supposedly he was in a long white robe and a beard and long hair. And he brought two songs and asked Nat if he would record them. Uh, the A side of the recording was called I'm a Real Gone Yogi. <laughs> We're gonna do the B side. <laughs>